Hello class, my name is Thompson. I'm a trainer at Rubavu Technical College Tivet, and today we are going to learn together the module which is called Basics of Electronics. Today's topic, we are going to see how to use electronic lab or workshop equipment. At the end of this session, each learner will be able to identify electronic lab or workshop equipment, apply electronic lab or workshop equipment, and finally, he, she will be able to test electronic lab or workshop equipment. As we are learning together, I invite you to take some notes and do a practical exercise with me. Firstly, you may ask yourself, what is electronics? Electronics is a science of controlling electrical energy, electrically, in which the electrons have a fundamental role. Electronics deal with electrical circuit that involved active component such as diode, transistor, integrated circuit, associated passive electronic component, and interconnection technologies. And also, you may ask yourself, what is an electronic circuit? It's a circular path of conductor by which electrical current can flow. All circuits need to have three basic elements, sources, semiconductors or electronic circuit, and the load. The voltage source, such as a battery, is needed in order to cause the current to flow through the circuit. Never forget that one. And also, you may also ask yourself, what is an electronic component? An electronic component is any physical insight in electronic system used to affect the electrons or the associated feed in a manner consistent with the intended function of the electronic system. Components are often categorized as active, such as diode, transistor, a crystal, integrated circuit, or passive, such as resistor, capacitor, inductor. And also, you may ask what is an electronic equipment? Equipment made of electronic component that involves the control condition of electrons and used for specific function such as sound system like audio amplifier in radio receiver, video system like a television and camera, computer periphery such as printer, scanner, projector, internal device, router switch modem, oscillator analog and digital, power supply DC and analog, multimeter analog and digital, and so on. Now on, we are going to identify electronic rub workshop equipment in general, such as a digital multimeter or analog multimeter, LC meter, AC and DC variable power supply, function generator, oscilloscope, and finally, a soldering station. A multimeter or multi tester is an electronic measurement instrument combined several instruments in one unit, like a voltmeter, ammeter, ohmmeter, continuity testing, and so on. As you can see, it can also be used to measure the configuration of diode, capacitance, inductance, and transistor. There are two types of multimeter, analog and digital. Analog multimeter, as you can see, it has a micro screen with a moving pointer to display readings. And the digital multimeter, it has a numeric display and may also show a graphic bar representing the measurement value. A function generator is an electronic device that has the ability to generate value, signal, waveform, which are adjustable parameters at its output, such as sinusoidal AC signal, triangle signal, square wave signal, and constant DC signal. Such signals are important when dealing with electronic circuit. Oscilloscope is an instrument that converts electronic and electrical signal to a visual display. The graph produced consists of a horizontal axis, which is a normal function of time, and a vertical axis, which is function of the input voltage or input current. 
or amplitude. LC meter is a type of electronic tester equipment used to measure either inductance, resistance, and capacitance, both of an electronic component. Soldering station, as you can see, is an electronic device which is made to join together to metal. AC and DC power supply. DC power supply, they provide a range of DC voltage and current at the output, which is positive and negative. It's frequently used to provide power in electronic component. AC power supply, they provide a range of AC voltage and current at the output, no positive and negative sign it uses to provide power needed in electronic device. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of our session. As we were learning together, I hope you take some note and you did a practical exercise as we were learning together. The next session, we will see apply passive component. See you next time. Enjoy.